What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Logistical Styles coming at you with another video. And today we are going to be talking briefly about hard drives, external hard drives. Just recently I was going through uh, some of my old crates and my bins in the storage unit and I came across this hard drive right here. This is an old dinosaur, but this is like the first external hard drive that I used when I first started DJing with Serato way back in 2007. This is a Western Digital MyBook and it uh, requires external power supply. You have to plug it into a wall in addition to plugging it into your computer with a USB cable. And it was not even 3 USB 3.0 back then. This was just like, just slow USB 2.0. But um, this was like cutting edge technology back then. And actually it was a mistake of mine when I first started DJing. Um, this was like the worst drive you could use to DJ with if you were mobile and out and about in the clubs like I was. So I quickly learned that this was not ideal. And probably after maybe a month or so, I got, I. I put this on the shelf and kept it as my main home storage device and I ended up getting a uh, USB powered external drive. Eventually that drive died and as drive technology got better, um, I came across this drive. This is a Seagate external drive. It's two terabyte and this is what I had been using for the past probably six years now and it's a, been a great drive it has not given me any problems but you know you always got to have a backup so that's when i started experimenting with other drives um, and they've all varied in their usefulness and their longevity um, hard drives fail that's just a fact of life it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when and i've been very fortunate with this one and i've been very careful with this one uh, so that's why I got to give props to the Seagate um, external drive. But as things got better with technology and things get smaller with technology, I've moved on now and I've decided to get uh, SSD um, external drive. Now these solid state drives are so much smaller and they have equal if not more storage available. This is a, these are both one terabyte drives. and. Um, this was the first drive that I purchased it, uh, of this category, and this was the Samsung uh, T7. Now, there's a couple of different series, like within the T range. There's like a T9, I believe, and there's a T3, there's a lower. So this is kind of middle of the road, but um, the speeds are great for me. It doesn't give me any issues. Um, it's very lightweight, but solidly constructed, um, USB connection comes with a USB-C to USB 3.0 cable and um, it's been really well it's been working really well for me I originally got this to use with my uh, iPad Air and um, I've had ha haven't had any problems with it but then as I've been you know scrolling and looking at other options I came across this one by SanDisk this is the SanDisk Extreme this is the one terabyte version and it is um, almost the same size it's actually a little bit taller than the Samsung but it's also a little bit thinner I mean thinner than the, th the Samsung so the size is about the same same footprint but I really like the feel of this one it's like a combination of plastic and a rubbery feel to it so it feels better to hold on and get a grip with uh, this one also is USB-C. I like the fact that this one came with a shorter cable, shorter but thicker cable. So it's uh, a lot more solid and firm and it doesn't have, it doesn't allow you to just, just spread it all out. It kind of keeps you compact with whatever device you're connecting it to. And I love the fact that it comes with a cable that is USB-C on both ends, but you get an adapter that goes from USB-C to USB 3.0 and it's a great, device or a great adapter to have it around even with other devices because so much stuff right now we're in the transition from going to from just like USB A or USB uh, 2.0 or 3.0 to USB C and a lot more devices are coming out and they are either charged by or they are connected to their computer by a USB C cable. A lot of new laptops are coming out with just USB-C connections because there's so much more you can do with a USB-C connection. You can send data, you can send um, 
sound, you can send pictures, you can send video, you can just send a lot through, and you can power a device all through that one cable. So that's why USB-C is so much more popular now. And to have this adapter makes it so much easier to make that transition when you come to a device that may still be using a USB um, 3.0 connection. Another note of comparison between the two is the way they come straight out the box. This one, the uh, Sandus Extreme, it came out formatted as XFAT. So I, right out the box, it was ready for me to use on my Mac and my PC. Uh, this one, the Samsung, it came formatted as NTFS. So that meant I had to reformat it if I wanted to be able to use it on something other than just my PC. So that was like a kind of a deciding factor for me really preferring to use this drive over this drive. This drive is gonna be my time machine backup. I'm just gonna keep it here at the house connected to a dock. So whenever I put my Mac on the dock, it'll just do a time machine backup. And then this will be my, my dumping grounds where I you know drop all my drone footage, my uh, video footage from YouTube videos or any other data that I need to have around with me. And then this, Old Faithful right here will continue to be uh, my main storage vault that is my legacy backup. I'll keep this locked away somewhere, probably uh, not too far from where this is. This is also going back into storage, but it was really nice to just remember where I came from. This big old bulky drive all the way down to these little credit card size drives. Now, I really do like both of these drives and they're very, very similar. Um, I mentioned that you know the size is similar you got one that's a little bit taller the sand disc is a little bit taller but the sand disc is also a little bit thinner um, looking at it from this way so they're about the same size they weigh about the, the same the price they're equally priced when you're looking at the one terabyte models um, they're about 149 150 dollars will get you either of these and uh, there is a couple of options you can get with the uh, Samsung T7. You can get the uh, Samsung T7 Touch, which has a, a fingerprint sensor, which is how you can secure the drive. I'm not sure if I would really want that on my DJing drive or my drive that I'm storing um, music that I need to access frequently. So you have that for that security measure. You can also get it in a couple of different colors like blue, red. Um, I got the basic uh, gray. This one just comes in this uh, design and there's no extra uh, option for security through fingerprint that I could find. But I do prefer this one because I like the way it feels. I like the way, I like the way it looks. You got this little hole here where you could hook it up to um, a loop or hook it up to anything to keep it maybe even a keychain. Uh, I'm not sure if I would want this on my main keychain, but you know, you got a place to store it with this little hole. Uh, I do like the fact that it did come in um, XFAT already. So I only had to just unbox it and I took data from my PC and transferred it on here and read it on my Mac with no problem. So I love that. Uh, this one required a little more effort and I had to format it to get it to be able to do both, but it, it wasn't a lot of effort, just another little step to take. But either way, I think they're both great values and I think you will find great use for them. Um, it's time to move on from these bigger drives. And to be honest, I don't even keep my music that I'm DJing with on the, uh, external that's just a, a backup for me the only thing i really keep on the external are my music videos when i have to use music videos for djing which isn't very often but i prefer to keep all my music stored locally internally on the laptop that i'm djing with this is just a backup method to have music available it has a larger library it has a larger library so if i do get an odd request i may be tempted to plug it in and search for it from this hard drive but Pretty much my DJing library is internally on my main laptop and I'm just using these as uh, backup and storage solutions. So I hope you found some value in this. I hope you get a chance to check them out. If you do already own them, tell me what you think. If you own both, tell me which one you prefer. Um, just keep looking at the videos and keep subscribing, keep commenting. Y'all let me know that y'all liking what y'all seeing and I appreciate the feedback. So I'm gonna keep making more videos and we can hopefully just get more knowledge and spread some knowledge. So until next video, I am your boy Logistical Styles and I am out.